Well, first of all, let me uh, hasten to say I've never personally had a first-hand experience with extraterrestrials or UFO. However, uh, I was born and raised, I rather was raised in the vicinity of Roswell, and my family knew many of the people uh, involved in the so-called Roswell incident. And even though it's been, was hushed up by our government, uh, those people have continued to their dying day to swear that it was real. And I, because of my astronaut status, many of the people involved in the early days, I called them old timers, they were military people, intelligence people, that uh, were involved in the early uh, investigation of UFO experiences. And they, uh, uh, I was privileged to be briefed by them, and they told me because they were under security oath, but they wanted to get it off their chest before they passed on, that these were real things. And in addition to that, I was briefed at our Pentagon because I'd asked some questions there uh, a few years ago and have, was a brief to high level officer on what I knew. And he uh, said, well, I don't know about that, but I will find out. And he called me a few weeks later and said, you're right on, those things are real. I, I should be in charge of that, but I'm not. And, uh, and we do know that there have been very high level people politicians over the last years from Barry Goldwater through uh, <clears throat> uh, Jerry Ford and others in our government and uh, President Clinton, Bill Clinton, uh, tried to break into that circle of knowledge and were resoundingly rebuffed and we not, were not able to do so. So uh, to me it's a very, it's a cancer growing in our midst that this information is known to some but is being well hidden. However, that seems to be changing. There seems to be far more acceptance and openness now. Well, it's kind of the monopoly. It's grown, it's grown from the early days in which there probably was an adequate reason that the military did not believe they could, could protect or do their job if it was truly UFOs or extraterrestrial present. So they were frightened of that and they wanted it covered up but it then became kind of uh, locked into the system and it's become, a, to me, it's become a national scandal ever since. Well, if the technology, I would suspect that many of the modern sightings are homegrown or homegrown technology, not uh, UFO or not alien technology. In other words, the vehicles are probably here. Uh, I don't know that for sure. But uh, there seems to be a group, an, an industrial group, a military group that is in the know. And our President Eisenhower, uh, when he retired from office in the late 50s, uh, made the statement, beware of the military industrial complex. And I suspect that's just precisely what he was alluding to, uh, these hidden agendas and hidden uh, technologies that are not available and to the public at this point. Uh, but it really depends upon what the propulsion system is, and it does seem to be, from all we can understand, an anti-gravity uh, propulsion system. But it, those of us who are not privy to the inner secrets of it can't say that for sure, but that seems to be the, uh, that seems to be the propulsion mechanism. We certainly, if they weren't friends, they could certainly have taken us over by now. Uh, so I would say they're just observing and uh, being available and watching what's going on. I don't have any fear of this whatsoever. I th we have more uh, problems with our own uh, culture and our warlike behavior than we do uh, from the UFO phenomenon. Well, certainly in the last few years, the Belgian government, the French government, uh, the Soviet government, the Brazilian government, and the Mexican government have uh, made open their, open their files far more so than the United States have. 
Well, it probably, once we can get it opened up and it becomes public knowledge, certainly it'd be something that I would think uh, all nations are, are interested in. There have been sightings in virtually all nations of the world that I know of. I personally have, since I've studied astronomy 50 years ago, have been fairly convinced throughout all my adult life that the universe is inhabited throughout, that we're not alone in the universe. With all the billions of planets and stars, it's be, it'd be crazy to think we are alone in the universe. <clears throat> Uh, and I think in due course, as the more our knowledge expands and our science expands and our ability to look at distant, distant star systems, we will understand that better.